I agree that they, you know, they want to move on from Russ. That's fine. The problem that I have is the way they're doing it. Ever yeah. since Sean Payton came in, you mentioned all the times that he's undercut him, whether it's in a press conference, whether it's in interviews. And it feels like, think about Russell Wilson, the person for a second. Yeah. He leaves. He has the worst season of his career. Pretty much the Hall of Fame conversation. Puts a giant stand on there. And then you think of Russell Wilson, like he's still optimistic. He's still trying to compete, despite the fact that he's clearly not the same player. And then for the way that he's been treated, yeah, I know he hasn't been great. And I know that contract's terrible. And I don't disagree with them leaving. But this is also a professional organization. And this is a this is a guy who is still a legend, whether or not he's a Hall of Famer or not. And I just think it's really disingenuous how they've gone about things. As somebody who is still trying to compete and he, you know, he spends all this money on, you know, maintaining his body. It's just, I just think that it's really gross the way they've handled things. I think yeah. you got to think about Russell Wilson, the person at the same time and forcing him to not waive $37 million when you gave him that money before he even stepped foot in Denver. Yeah. That's a fault on your part. You guys are basically forcing him to retract the mistakes that you made. Yeah. You need to hold accountability for yourself in this situation. You're the ones who paid him $245 million. You're the one that didn't – he didn't even play a game for you yet. He had a year left on his contract. You could have bite the bullet and played with him, and you would have realized maybe we shouldn't resign this guy. But instead, you take this massive leap. It fails. You bring in Sean Payton, and he's basically publicly humiliated him every step along the way. Yeah. Well, yeah, you could say he's publicly humiliated Russell Wilson in that is true to a point and if i was russell wilson i'd definitely be emotional at this point but if i was also russell wilson <clears throat> and they walked up to me and they're like hey we're gonna bench you if you don't retract your 37 million dollars of guaranteed money i would just laugh at them i'm like sorry i would rather have 37 million dollars and i'd be like this is your fault you're the ones who paid me and now you're trying to take that money back that's hilarious why are you guys this stupid First mm -hmm. of all, and then he's like, also, I played really well this season and we have a chance to make the playoffs. Why are you even thinking of doing this right now mm -hmm. when we have a chance to go maybe make a Giants S run in the playoffs and legitimately upset someone like, hey, we, if we get the six seed, we've proven we can beat Kansas City. You're the head coach here. You're the guy who's supposed to fix me. You're Drew Brees' mentor. And then now with Sean Payton, after Russell Wilson's done laughing at him, you get someone like Ryan Clark absolutely laying into him mm -hmm. with everything that Sean Payton has done this year. He's like, now Sean Payton's being held out to dry where it's like, now people are like, this guy's a buffoon. Is he a head coach? He's operating like a thug. He's acting like the John Morant of the NFL at this point. And if we're going to hold John Morant to such a high standard, and I think what happened to John Morant being suspended, like, should he be suspended for waving a gun on video? Controversial take. We're in America. Hell no. Like, with what we did to John Morant in the media, we should be able to hold Sean Payton to the same accountability. It's a different situation, but just the way he's behaving, we hold players to such a different standard than head coaches. It's like, no, like, sure, Russ got hung out to dry by Sean Payton, but now people are realizing that Sean Payton is not a very good actor. And don't forget, um, let's history lesson. Who was the guy that was paying his players to hurt people? Oh, that was Sean Payton. Bounty Gate. Like mm. Sean Payton was suspended a year for a reason. Mm. And let's not get caught up in Sean Payton's this amazing guy here. He was the one paying players to try and hurt people and mm. incentivizing his players. And that's pretty inhumane. And that's pretty disgusting. This is football. This is not the UFC. This is not boxing. We mm. shouldn't be trying to hurt players on purpose because it hurts the quality of the sport. And it's genuinely bad for the league. And it's genuinely disturbing. Like, this is who Sean Payton is, and we know this. And now that he's acting like this, like, we shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's a good point, because we forget about Bounty Gate. I don't yeah. think that we talk about Bounty Gate enough. This was the one that brought him to the Super Bowl. Yes. He won his Super Bowl from asking players like Jonathan Vilma and Cam Jordan to deliberately attack players' knees. Someone like Brett Favre, who was having a resurgence with the Vikings, deliberately took him out of that game. Yeah. And going out and hurting them. And that point, like, yeah, they won that Super Bowl, but I feel like that's a giant stain on his legacy there. And then what did he do since then? Well, made a couple of NFC title games. They lost in the first round a few times. And then you had this pass interference nonsense. And now with this thing here, like... Do you, with the... I'm sorry to interrupt you, but with the Bounty Gate thing and, like, him paying players to hurt, do you think he's just, like, 
lashing out at Russell Wilson because he's making him look bad, and that's why he's trying to cut, undercut him. Yeah, because there's definitely been a power struggle since they've started. And with Russ, like, I don't know. Like, he, he played terrible last year. There's no doubt about it. But with him, he also had that five-game winning streak, and he's also played to a much better degree here now. I think there's still going to be a somewhat of a market for Russ if, as long as somebody can bite that contract. It's like it, he has made him look bad, especially when they started 1-5. and five. And this yeah. is the guy that's brought in to resurrect Russell Wilson's career, and he wasn't able to do that. It hurts his legacy. Yeah. And because it hurts his legacy, this guy who has a uh, Super Bowl win, I think it stepped on his toes. And then they're going on here and immediately just embarrassing him, like we mentioned. Yeah, they're embarrassing him. And I think like it really comes down to Sean Payton. He's not necessarily a good actor in the league here. And then after like that Super Bowl, what is he known for? An onside kick. And that's pretty much it ever since. Like he was able to be competitive, but he's also had a lot of mismanaged games. And then the Rams game, he got absolutely screwed by the league. But that's also some karma there where it's like, okay, you're the guy who wanted players to go out there and deliberately hurt people. Brett Favre, you could have hurt his longevity for his career in that game and if that's the way you have to win it's like sorry you're not going to be one of these all-time great head coaches for me and especially being suspended for a year for that and knowing that it's public knowledge why isn't this guy disqualified from any hall of fame conversations like yeah. that's a if we're going to disqualify the entire steroid era and Barry Bonds in baseball, then mm. we should definitely disqualify anyone in mm. the bounty gate era who is asking their players to hurt people. Yeah, I agree. I think this this isn't something that anybody's really talking about in the media either, because especially like this solidifies it for me that honestly, Sean Payton's not somebody that I would want to play for. This isn't an organization I would want to go to, especially post Peyton Manning how dysfunctional that organization has been and then now he's doing this mob house mentality publicly embarrassing his quarterback who he signed on to coach at that point it's like honestly Sean Payton's a monster you know what you're getting into yeah both of you Sean Payton you knew you were getting Russell Wilson and you knew who he was in the Russell Wilson from Seattle and then Denver you signed Russell Wilson a year early and Sean Payton knew he had that contract so it's like sorry that the Chargers didn't want to give you enough money and fire Brandon Staley and you couldn't coach Justin Herbert, but you knew what this entailed. You knew what this rebuild would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think he's a monster and <laughs> the Denver Broncos are a shame of organization. Definitely on that list of the top five worst teams, according to the Brickyard, just because of how disgusting they run their business yeah. at that point.